So we're going to be doing a four-way product comparison test on my mother's 2007 GMC Envoy. My goal is to make this as controlled as possible using the same amount of time and pads for each product. For this test we're going to use Meguiar's Dual Action Polisher, Meguiar's Microfiber Cutting and Polishing Pads, Optimum's Hyper Compound and Hyper Polish, Meguiar's M105 and M205, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound and Ultimate Polish, and lastly, Meguiar's 3-in-1 Cleaner Wax. And we'll be prepping the surface with Meguiar's Clay Bar and Optimum No Rinse. Before we begin and do anything, you can see the surface I'm starting with here. Tons of water spots, swirls, some deep scratches, and plenty of rock chips and acid etching that we can't ultimately do anything for. We'll be starting off with spraying the area with Optimum No Rinse, O and R, and clay barring the surface to get the surface level contaminants out. This just ensures that there's nothing extra on the surface that can damage the paint or get picked up in our pads when we begin our tests. Once we're done with the clay bar, we move on to an IPA wipe down to ensure there are no oils, waxes, or other residues on the surface. After this, I mask out the sections for the different products, though I didn't see much of a reason to record that, so it'll just skip to the next section where we begin polishing. So each of these tests will start with a Meguiar's microfiber cutting disc for the first product and polishing disc for the second product. I conduct each test at 2 minutes with a timer starting once the product has been spread across the whole panel. Our first product set will be Optimum's Hyper Compound and Hyper Polish, starting with Hyper Compound on the cutting disc. Once we wipe off the hyper compound, we can see a bit of hologramming from the product, and that's fine. That's where polishing comes in next, but you can still see a notable difference in the amount of swirls. So next up is Optimum's Hyper Polish on a microfiber polishing disc. You'll notice after the two minutes is up, there's still a little bit of hologramming left. This tells me that while I love Optimum's combination, using it in this application style will not yield the best results. Normally when I use this combination, I do hyper compound on the heavy cutting microfiber disc, which is the really thin one, then polish on the cutting disc, and another pass with the polishing pad to finish it off. And it leaves no holograms or no residue. So this is a minus one for Optimum so far. Next up is M105 on a cutting pad. You'll notice that I primed the pad by putting compound on it, then rubbing it into all the fibers. This ensures there are no dry spots with the compound. And it seems two minutes with M105 is a bit too long as it got too hot and effectively dried the compound to the paint, which would require either excess scrubbing to get it off, which I'm not going to do because that scratches it, uh, spraying with, with O&R and then wiping it up, or going over the surface again with fresh compound and wiping it up. 
something I'm also not going to do because then that skews the results of the test. I removed all that I could and moved on to M205 as that will remove the excess product for us. We can still see the that M105 did an excellent job of removing the scratches, swirls, and water spots. We just have to deal with the dried product, which is something you tend to have to deal with with M105. Now we have M205 on a finishing pad. Once again, we prime the pad and spread the polish into the fibers. We'll notice that after M205, there are no holograms, no dried polish or compound, and the majority of the swirls, scratches, and water spots have been removed. The only thing left is some acid etching, but there's not much we can do for that. M105 and 205 is an excellent combination and used to be my go-to products as it's very simple to use. The only issue is the product working time on M105 as it can vary greatly depending on the ambient temperature, humidity, paint conditions, and M105 will also dust extremely bad as you use it more, though that's pretty common with most cutting compounds. Now it's time for one of my favorite products, and one I've probably used more than anything else in my years of detailing, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, and we'll be starting off with the microfiber cutting disc of course. Just like our last product, we do need to prime the pad, and then go from there. Now why is this a staple in my garage for detailing? Well, that's because of how the product works. It's a diminishing abrasive, meaning that as you work the product, the abrasive breaks down to finer and finer particles, going from a compound to a polish. I'll get into the finer details about this product and how it works in a later video though, so we'll just come back to that. And you can see that just after the ultimate compound alone, about 90% of the swirls and scratches have already been removed, and it's super easy to clean up. Though I did start to tear up my tape line, which comes back to bite me in just a moment. Alright, so Meguiar's Ultimate Polish. This is a product that I didn't even know existed up until a couple of weeks ago, and I'm not sure why I never knew about it or how I managed to miss it, as I would have loved to experiment with this years ago. It wipes off very easily, for the most part. It's hard to see in the video, but as I was trying to wipe it off, I, it kept leaving what looked to be scratches in the paint. These scratches were actually excess polish that was getting picked up, likely in the tape line that came up there, and kept contaminating my cloths. You can see the disdain on my face right before I grab a brand new cloth, only to contaminate that one almost immediately as well. I don't believe this was a fault of the polish, I believe it was my own mistake due to not stopping and fixing my tape line the second I saw it come up. After getting the majority of it off, I just decided to move on with the project, as this doesn't skew my results. Ultimate Compound and Polish are still a very high contender in this list for me though, and honestly I'd probably just stick to Ultimate Compound alone and just use it on varying levels of pads to get the desired results.
on to our final product and the reason I do voiceover work for my videos. Garbage truck and air compressor being unbelievably loud. Anyway, Meguiar's 3-in-1 Cleaner Wax. I didn't really have high hopes for this stuff in the beginning. I just thought, eh, it'd be fun to try. We're going to do two passes with this, the first one being with the cutting pad. And you'll see after this first pass with the cutting pad here that it doesn't really remove or correct much, just the most minor swirls. I'd probably only use this stuff for a cheap one stage, but even then there are notably better products out there to do that same job. Onto our polishing pass with the 3-in-1 Cleaner Wax. Still doesn't really do much for us, just removing minor swirls, not hitting any of the larger scratches or even most of the water spots. And again, my contaminated cloth didn't help things here, but it was good enough for me. So the initial view of all four panels, we see with Optimum that there are holograms, which I'll take care of later, M105 and 205 did exceptionally well, Ultimate Compound and Polish did extremely well, minus my cloth issue, and the 3-in-1 did okay, but I wouldn't personally use it. So now before we actually remove the tape, we're going to do an IPA wipe down. Just remove any oils on the surface that may be filling in scratches or swirls, as some polishes tend to do this. I also wish I would have realized that my lips had gotten dirty at some point, as there's not really much I can do after recording it unfortunately. Time for the fun part, removing the tape. You also get to see why every detailer out there hates actually using tape lines for product comparison. It leaves an extremely hard line where polish gets stuck just under the tape, and it's usually a nightmare to remove. Regardless, you can see a notable difference between the four products and what the car started off with. Even the 3-in-1 is a huge increase over what it was. Now, what would have been my pick if I was using the products in this exact manner? I'd say Ultimate Compound and Polish would be my winner and go to. If I was to change things up and use my heavy cutting disc and add that extra step in there, I'd go back to optimum. I'd love to get some feedback from you guys on what you think worked best, as well as any comments that you may have as well. I'm sure someone will comment that I used too much product, and that is partially true, but unfortunately a requirement since I did have to prime these pads. My Monday video will actually be me finishing off the hood using Ultimate Compound and Polish, as I'm fairly certain my mother would kill me if I returned her car to her with four giant squares on the hood like that. As always guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on new content as it comes out. Thanks for watching. Take care.